Yeah. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm India's first differently able DJ and uh, also a music producer. I'm uh, working in the industry from last four years now. I'm a full time DJ. Uh, like I'm, I'm a resident DJ working with KTSU right now, which is a part of Lalit Group. Uh, as well as I'm uh, a TEDx speaker and uh, doing some of the some of the other activities for the people with disabilities, uh, doing my bits of uh, whatever I can provide them, like in some in any any way. Uh, welcome aboard again, uh, Varun. So, like I said, Varun happens to be the first differently abled DJ in India and the second around the world after Paul Johnson. Uh, congratulations, uh, Varun. This is definitely a very, very uh, huge achievement there to be a pioneer in a in a particular field. Uh, Varun, starting so on. Uh, uh, so, will you please tell us something about uh, the the physical construction that you that you have? Uh, what what is it that so, you are doing? Uh, so, uh, basically, uh, on seventh of June two thousand fourteen, I was traveling from Delhi to Manali for a small trip with a couple of friends, and uh, so I met with this accident, which actually made me diagnosed with spinal cord injury. Uh, which made me paralyzed chest down from the level of injury. So we basically we have vertebras in our spinal cord. So wherever your spinal cord gets broken, so you get disabled from that very point. And it depends at what kind of injury you get into. Like maybe it's a complete injury, whether it's a uh, like non-complete injury. But I got a complete injury which made me paralyzed chest down. So my level of injury was D4, D5. Uh, which meant that uh, I lost every single motor movement as well as sensory movement uh, below my chest level, and that 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 was a case which I was diagnosed with at at that very time. And according to doctors, uh, I was I was <laughs> I have said that I will never be able to sit and do a lot of things which a normal person do, like maybe uh, living his life uh, in, in like in her, her life in, in a proper way. So. That was a scenario which I uh, met with, like almost for almost now, like 2017, 7th of June was the uh, day, and I always celebrate that day as my second birthday because I, I believe that I got another, like it's 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 a totally uh, new bird to me after that uh, that day. That's some dose of positivity there, uh, a yeah. beautiful one that is. Uh, Varun, this uh, uh, means uh, the so-called normal, which we call the normal life, I don't see anything about the normal life, but the world says that the life you have told me, what kind of life did you have in your life when this happened to you? How many things did you have to do with your life? I was, yeah, I was, yeah, I'm a 91 born, I was 24 years old, I was doing my masters in mass comp from MIT at that very time. And uh, side by side, I was actually uh, like uh, pursuing my passion for music also. Uh, but जब ये हुआ था तब it was it was you can understand that a certain point of time where uh, where you're living your life to the fullest and you have dreams in front of you. You want to live your life in a way that I I want to achieve these things and I want to uh, get uh, get to a certain point. You you see you see the, the perspective of life towards that 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 age is totally different because. You are living your life also, but you are also thinking about your future, about how you are going to make your life better in a, uh, like your life better, and and you live your life. So when this this thing happened with me, I was um, I was totally into a totally uh, into a phase where I was trying to figure out that what is good for me, what I how I have to go forward in my life, and how I have to accomplish whatever I I am thinking of like becoming in my life, and suddenly this thing happened. So, this was the thing. But I, I always believed that uh, I never lost my spine uh, when I met with this accident. So, unfortunately, I lost my dad just two years before this injury. So uh, that was the day which actually made me realize a lot of things. And because uh, being the youngest in the family, always pampered the most and loved by, and it's 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 kind of a thing that where you believe that that uh, when you lose someone that. You you see uh, him as as your idol and and so that was the thing and after this after two years I uh, this thing happened with me and uh, I uh, got into a lot of uh, depression and I I will not uh, get away from that like when this thing happened with me because I got into depression after uh, uh, the demise of my dad and after that this thing also 
but uh, unfortunately that i started looking things in a positive way i met a lot a couple of people in my life who actually completed me who actually encouraged me and told me that there's nothing impossible in your life if you really want to do it and uh, if you really seek for it so that's that's more important that if you really if 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 you want to see it the in a way that yes i want to do this thing then you you can do it and you can live your life in a happy way. ब्यूटीफुल वरुण मैं आपको कैसे बुलाऊ वरुण बुलाओ की डीजे आमिश बुलाओ आप जैसे बोले हम वैसे यू कैन कॉल मी एंड यू कैन कॉल मी वरुण यू कैन कॉल मी आमिश एज वेल सो आमिश इट केम फ्रॉम माय मदर एंड फादर नेम सो माय फादर नेम वाज अमित एंड माय मदर नेम इज शशि सो ए एम आई एंड एस एच ए सो इट इज आमिश सो बोथ बोथ ऑफ देम आर लाइक I like it's it's I have taken his by both of them yeah so so Amish or whatever any anything you can call it. No, so then we call you Amish. 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 कि जो फॉल्ड अल्टीमेट ट्रूथ है उससे आपका पहली बार सामना हुआ था तो एक एपिसोड होता है दो साल बाद ये एपिसोड होता है लेकिन मतलब जिस तरीके से आपने अपने आप से बात की होगी कैसा लगा था आपको जब पहली बार डॉक्टर ने आपको ये कहा होगा कि भई ऐसा है कि अब आप इतने मोबाइल नहीं रह पाएंगे जितने पहले uh see i i tell you that uh, uh when he told me i didn't um, actually uh, accepted that thing at that time i took it in a very uh, like i thought that he's joking and he's saying this thing to me and on the other side of the thing uh, which actually was getting um, actually making me worried at that time very time was that my family was around me and my mother was suffering from both the things at that time so i actually got into a kind of a situation where i was not able to uh, accept that thought at that very moment that was my fault that i was not accepting it because doctor is telling me what he he knows like what he what, what science tells him and i was not accepting his thought at that very time but so his what whatever he was saying to me at that very time but i was neglecting that neglecting that thing at that very time that this thing has happened with me and i still believe that i'm going to walk nobody can stop me from walking once again nobody not even because it's it's something that if you really believe in something then no but like according to doctors that you will not be able to sit like any any time in your life so it it depends that how you take things aap kaisa lena chahte ho but it was my fault at that very time that it is very much important that you accept things like if something is there in your life which has happened it has happened i can't go back in on 7th of june and 2014 and change that certain like two minutes of uh, time that this thing sh- should get reversed or something like that but yes it is very much important that when he told me i was i was not accepting what he was telling me that uh, that um, you will never be able to walk once again you will never be able to do a lot of things and you should get into rehabilitation and start living your life in a normal way and start doing things what are like which you should get overcome of like you should start learning how to get rehabilitated all of you share and so i was a reluctant at that very time no who will but i just do it well but certainly after a certain point of time when i started looking at my body and i started trying like moving my legs and do i was not able to do anything then suddenly after it it was uh, in that scenario i was uh, a little bit lost as well as depressed because i i was not able to get control of the things which i am thinking of that yes i am walking i am able to move my legs but i am not able to do those things but certainly after a certain point of time i started accepting things and i met a lot of people i really want to thank them that they actually made me realize this thing that you have to accept things first because if i'm not accepting that this thing has happened then i'm not able to walk and i'm not going to jump to the next step and it is very much important that i should first accept that yes my body is not working right now but what is the second thing which i can do to make it more better and more better for me 
the second choice is doing physiotherapy if i do physiotherapy then i will start gaining power in my body so look forward to physiotherapy first because if i'm just going to keep that thought in my mind that my body is not like i'm not able to move my legs i'm not able to move my legs then it is not happening is not but if i'm doing physiotherapy some other other way i'm seeing some other other change in my body which is making me positive towards that thought that yes i'm okay so it is very much important that you should first accept that whatever it's, it's not my condition whether anything happens in, in anybody's life so anything regarding um, maybe a small failure or maybe um, any emotional thought or maybe first thing which any but animal should get through is the acceptance of that if i've done something wrong i should accept that if i'm going through some physical thing i should accept that because if i'm not going to accept that thing then i'm not going to overcome that thing in any way no matter what so the, this these were some of the things which i learned with the period of time and uh, eventually uh, after uh, when i started doing physiotherapy and going out and like met a lot of people who were too like i say that they are too too much special to me because they are while seeing them that they are actually doing those things which i'm believing in that yes i will be able to walk one day i will be able to drive my car one day i will be able to do a lot of things in my life which i'm not able to do seeing them in that way and doing those things and making me believe that if you are going to do the hard work and you are going to overcome that thing so that was the beauty of it that it's it's a, i like i always say that people come with, in your life to complete you in some other other way it's it's all the learn give, learning from someone else and maybe someone is learning some, something from you so if you believe in that thought then yes you overcome a lot of problems which uh, mainly we face because in my condition it was it was almost like i took almost 7 to 8 months to get over from it that yes i have to do a lot of things in my life and i have to get forward of this thought but it all came from one acceptance that yes this thing has happened with me and uh, yes i am my mobility is lost right now but my but my ambition is not in first so like it's more important that i should look forward to it and start thinking about that how to get forward in my life in a better way and live my life in a better way lovely varun bahut bahut badi baat aap bol gaye i mean uh, we really need to hear him close and you know listen to him and take it all in our lives uh, varun 24 saal ke the varun ko doctor aakar bolte hain ki uh, ab aap nahi chal sakte hain varun keh rahe hain maine unki baat suni kyunki wo medical sciences ki knowledge se bol rahe the par maine unki baat maani nahi आप कह रहे हैं ना मैं नहीं चल सकता मैं चल के दिखाऊंगा वक्त कितना भी लगेगा दैट्स ऑल राइट पर मैं चल के दिखाऊंगा और वो ये मानते चले और बहुत एंथुजियाजम से उन्होंने अपने फिजियोथेरेपी को वक्त दिया और ये बच्चों वाली मासूमियत की आप बात कर रहे हैं कि ही वॉज इन ब्रूडिंग अबाउट इट ही वॉज इन सिटिंग ऑन इट एंड ही वॉज इन थिंकिंग अबाउट हाउ हिज लाइफ हैज चेंज इमीडिएटली इन दैट मोमेंट इट सेल्फ द मोमेंट डॉक्टर सेज थिंग्स लाइक दोज यू नो यू यू टेंड टू काइंड ऑफ गेट कॉट अप इन टू वट द डॉक्टर इज गिविंग यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन ही डिड नॉट स्टिक टू दैट he went on planning his life in that moment itself so i think that's a very very beautiful message you are giving out uh, varun to people here uh, we go through a lot of circumstances but varun is also telling us about uh, how he had to learn everything relearn everything literally his entire life smallest of things aapka uh, um, काम करने का जो छोटा बहुत तरीका होता है वॉशरूम जाना बाहर आना नहाना ये बहुत रेगुलर रोजमर्रा जिंदगी की चीज है वरुण थोड़ा सा बताइए हाउ डिड यू यू नो वॉज इट फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग टू रीलर्न एवरी थिंग यस दैट पार्ट वॉज लिटिल बिट फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग एंड डिप्रेसिंग ऑल्सो बिकॉज सी दीज आर समिंग विच यू कॉन्ट गेट रेड ऑफ एंड any accident happens or someone in some in, in any scenario and uh, in this kind of an injury uh, it is something which is not in your hands matlab mere haath mein nahi hai matlab like it's it's not in my hand that i can change it or but yes uh, it was a little bit of it 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 was a most depressing part actually 
actually why in this kind of energy this is the most depressing part like uh, getting away from a lot of uh, uh, things which you suffer medically and uh, which is which which is not a part of a normal day routine and you uh, have to go through them and i i say that i actually salute all of them that who are going through this energy because this is the most difficult part and uh, and getting because uh, and that it is also this is the only part which actually makes people depressed also in this condition because uh, uh, this is something which uh, which makes you emotionally mentally physically and uh, in all perspectives weak in some other other way because uh, you can understand that it's it's something which nobody can get rid of and people get feel ashamed of that also but but if you really think in that way that if a child is born then also he is also into a same condition where people it it, it if if he if people don't see them in, in such a way so yes overcoming all these medical problems at that very time like learning life in a new way it was difficult but you have to overcome them because you know, anybody who is listening to me if if he has got into this injury then if this thing is making you uh, depressed or maybe emotional then believe that you are a new born child and you want to try to do anything whatever you want to do in any way so don't don't uh, think that uh, yes it's it, it's a difficult thing because uh, the more grown up you are the more you are going to think about it it's it's, it's a simple fact because i'm a human body i will think about it my mind is going to keep make me today itself like also in the, like right now like in this at this point of time also sometimes i think about it yes why this thing is happening with me and why i have to take all these medical uh, helps and all these but yes believe that that you are one child that's that's the only beauty of it because then you will think with a aap fir soch rahe hain is tarike se start kar doge ki aap ek chote bacche ho and chote bacche ko kuch samajh nahi hoti whatever he wants to do whatever he wants to learn whatever he wants to do in his like in, in a certain way he do and he just laughs or he cries he it's, it's, it's it's your choice and in that perspective of time just learn things because no matter what it takes time to get over all these problems they don't get you can't get away from them but yes you can overcome them in some other the ways but you have to actually think like think think more in a, in a positive way because uh, i am again saying that this is the most difficult part of this entity this is the most most difficult part because uh, you can uh, accept a lot of things you can accept your physical movement you can accept a lot of things but uh, getting into a situation where uh, you getting uh, mentally weak because of maybe thinking that you are going to be feel ashamed in front of someone else or maybe if you get into an accident because of anything uh, it's it's something which is not in your hands and it is something which is not you have created for yourself it is the injury which has created for you and uh, it is it is something that you have to uh, believe in yourself that as a newborn child doesn't get ashamed of anything then you should also like get ashamed of anything and please like we all are human bodies and it's it's absolutely fine that what what whatever we are going through because it is more important that you should accept that thing and you should overcome that thing that is more important rather than getting yourself into a depressed state because of that yes it it will happen i am not going to go away from this the thought that okay you know this uh, this is not going to make you depressed or aapko it's not going to make you mentally weak yes it is going to make you mentally weak a lot of times you know a lot of situations where you will not be able to understand what 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 i should do to get over uh, this scenario and sometimes this is the this is the only part which actually makes people weak and um, think about their lives like two times or three times that what what i'm doing why am i alive why am i into this kind of condition but the only beauty about it about it is that you are a new born child and it's you are again i will say that fortunate that you are able to see your family around you are able to do a lot of things and believe me that uh, if you have good support of your family then they also see you as a new born child and they also care for you in the same way so 
in the medical scenario yes it's a difficult part it's a most difficult part it's a most difficult road which you have to cross but if you will smile and do it with, with the face of of, a, of a, like a like a newborn baby then it, it will go away with, with time yes with time you can overcome that lovely varun uh, aap itni uh, uh, itni bhari bhari baatein bol ke thodi si khushiyan bikherte hain you have a lot of appreciation coming your way so i'm just going to scroll down the messages read it all for you oh oh oh, oh. it went yeah. why went? no 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 it has come back wait just give yeah. me a minute uh so sd gandhi is saying hello to you and uh, we have uh, parth tiwari says you are the most humble and sincere guy in nightlife industry more power to you definitely i am with part uh we've got more coming in uh we have archer she says you are a true inspiration so definitely we've got uh, a lot of support here uh bubber 829 says more power to you brother and yeah, uh, so he is he's actually one of the person who actually made me believe so he is also a spinal cord injury patient and okay. he is walking right now Oh, okay. so so yeah so he he's so one of the person to you too yeah so he is one of the persons in my life who actually made me believe that uh, you can you can drive your car you can do anything in any your life and you can understand that you find a pro kind of a person in your life who makes you they are connection here so he is he is uh, one person in my life who actually uh, made me believe a lot of things which i would not have even thought of that a person on a wheelchair can 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 do like uh, it, it's all the hindrances which you create in uh, i'm really sorry i know what's wrong so it's 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 all it's all the hindrances which you create you create in your in your mind that that's all if if you just get away from all those thoughts then you can do anything it's it's there's nothing impossible but i after getting into this injury what i have learned that there is nothing impossible in this life if you really want to do it it's just your thought that if you want to do it or if you don't want to do it i can cry i was i was crying because of this injury i was sad ki mere saath kyun hua kya hua but it was not changing anything in my life but the moment i started learning my life once again i started laughing once again i started getting a smile on my face and once you start living your life once again you never it because see crying and getting into a sadness situation it's not changing anything in your life no matter i'm not just talking about my injury but i'm just talking about the whole scenario which everyone is going through or maybe any depression stage or or anything making yourself into that kind of a bubble where you always think the negative part of the situation you will always be into a situation where you are going to get negative thoughts only that okay i'm not going to do this i'm not going to i've got into a failure i'm not going to do that but always see the brighter side of it that if i would not have been alive then what what else maybe just see the brighter side of it. i'm still talking to you i'm sitting in front of you i'm doing whatever i want to do in my life so it is very much important that if you see the brighter side of the story of any situation which happens in anybody's life then you can learn a lot of things and it is going to evolve you and uh, what i've learned is that that difficult situation comes in your life to make you learn something if you learn that thing you are going to overcome that thing very soon but if you are not learning those things then again you are going to be into that state only where you are crying where you are and it's not changing anything see uh, uh, smiling and uh, happiness it it's it's a totally uh, totally it it has a totally different kind of feeling totally like yeah it's it's totally different kind of a uh, i say that that you you feel yourself in that situation so it's better that yes uh, i say that uh, you you understand light once you see darkness so it's very much important that you if you are into a state where you see darkness then there's a hole which is going to show you light and if you will run towards that hole towards that light then your life is going to be in in, in a, you will see your life in a happy way you will see a lot of things in a positive way because keep keeping yourself just into that thought that i will how i'm going to get over all these things and i'm going to do 
uh, how I'm going to be good in my life. It's all in your head. Nothing is is there's nothing. Nobody can control my body. Nobody can control my thoughts. I'm the only one. I'm the only one who is believing that I'm not able to do this thing. But I'm the only one who is believing that yes, I can do it. So it's it's your choice that how you want to do it, how you want to take things forward in your life. वरुण यहाँ पर एक और बड़ा मैं आपको बार बार उस जर्नी की तरफ लेकर जा रही हूँ आई होप यू नॉट री लिविंग इट बट वो दी आइडिया इतना भी समझ नहीं आती हमेशा एक बैरियर शटर गिरा देते हैं हम दिमाग का जैसा मैं कहती हूँ पॉसिबल Okay, so we will have to wait for the guest to come again. Uh, apparently, his uh, network was unstable and it went off. So I'm going to send him an invite, and uh, we'll wait for him to come. What yeah, an amazing! Sorry, yeah. sorry, that's all right. That's all right. Varun, I was saying that I was going to take you on a journey that you will have to take on. But for the first time, you will have to take on. भर के दिखाया है और जो सक्सेस स्टोरी बन गया डिप्रेशन मेरे दो सवाल है जुड़े हुए छोटे से पहला तो ये की जब आप डिप्रेशन में स्लिप किए तो क्या साइंस थे कैसा लग रहा था कौन बन गए थे आप और वहां से आपको निकाला विच पावर नॉट यू आउट ऑफ इट वो क्या चीज है जिसमें आप बिल्कुल रम गए कि आप बाहर आए सी व्हाट आई हैव लर्न विद माय इंजरी एंड व्हाट आई हैव लर्न अबाउट डिप्रेशन इज दैट इट इज अ स्टेट व्हिच योर माइंड क्रिएट्स एंड यू सी you don't see what you want to see but your mind puts a frame in front of you that whatever is happening in your life is a, has a negative perspective towards that when this injury happened with me i was into too much depression for 6 months it was a state where i i you actually start hating yourself you're getting my like it's it's a state where uh, you start believing into a lot of negative thoughts which should not prevail in your mind and it is it it i how I, i like if i want to put it in words it is something that that it's 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 a illusion in front of you according to me that it's your mind is not working the way you want it to be you see every single situation around you in a negative way you try to curse yourself for a lot of things that why this thing happened why this thing is like and you get irritated very easily like in in a very simple thought only you get started getting irritated and you will not be able to concentrate on anything you will not be able to do what what you really want to do you will get into a situation where you always uh, just see the negative part of it if something is good is also happening in your life you will always believe that this is a negative thing which is happening in my life and why this thing is happening in my life and why why am into this kind of a situation but see depression is something which mind which your mind creates in front of you it is not something your thought which yes it's a thought of yours only which you are trying to make yourself uh, get uh, overcome by like maybe matlab uh, like if if i want to put it in easy words depression it's a thought jo aap apne mind pe haavi hone de dete ho ki ye cheez it's it's the end of the day like it's 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 something that this is the last thing which has happened in my in my life and ab iske aage aur kuch nahi hai and you start in start living into that bubble in that bubble you create thoughts which 
are only have only have a negative perspective and uh, which which are going to only degrade you in some other other way whether it is physically whether it is mentally whether it is your efficiency whether it is your thinking power whether it is your uh, compassion towards others whether it is your uh, how you see or how how you see life it's all negative it's all dead line it's a straight line even the pulse is like this but depression is like this it's a straight line which is has been created in your mind and you are just going through that straight line that this is the end which i'm like going through and i have to this is the end of whatever i have to do in my life and i i will not be able to do anything in my life anymore but if you really want to cross that line and you put that that if in my case i found music as a brighter side in my situation that yeah. music was a was a was a brighter side to it once i was i i i i almost didn't saw sunrise and sunset for two years i was just lying on a bed and even if i had to get shifted from my bed to my wheelchair i used to need two people because i didn't had that much of power in my lower back and everything that i i would be able to get up on my own and sit and you can understand that if this water bottle is is here then from my bed i will not be able to take it so a lot of th- thoughts come in your mind which makes you depressed which makes you weak that i'm not able to do this thing like if a bottle is just sitting next to me but i'm not able to get up from my bed and take it but in my part in my injury in my situation music was a savior to me that once i started looking and listening to music once again learning music once again started reading books i was not able to think that line of depression which was created in my mind once i started going out looking the brighter side of uh, of the picture meeting friends meeting new people who inspired me in some other other way started driving my car then that line of depression went away like this i was not able to think i i stopped thinking about it, what has happened in my life i still live my life to the fullest and in every single way whatever you think of every single way there is no hindrance in my life in any, in any way it's Love it's you. all the hindrance all the hindrances are created by you only depression is nothing it's only a thought it's only a illusion which you create in yourself in your mind by repeating the same thought again and again and again and again and again in your mind in my case like my injury that i'm my mobility is lost i will not be able to walk i will not i will not be able to do all these things that single thought created its root in my mind in all the perspective of like how you live your life maybe that it i, I will say that depression uh, puts the roots in your mind like aap fir har ek cheez ko ek negative way mein dekhna start kar dete ho but if you kill that thought in from your mind and you start looking towards a brighter picture of that then yes you will overcome that no matter what there is nothing i i believe that after once i started getting over that situation once i started living my life in a in a normal way then i believe that it was just a illusion which i was creating in my mind i now just get up from my bed shift on my wheelchair and take this bottle in my hand and drink the water yeah yeah not thinking so, to yeah it's 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 something that you are creating for your it's it's something which is you are the only one who is creating that depression for yourself it is not something which you you are perceiving that thought again and again and again again and in your mind that this, this is the end this is this is something which has happened with me i will not be able to overcome no matter what so it is it is very much important that if you feel something which is making you depressed or maybe anxious about you should start talking to people once again if you don't want to talk to people you have four walls in you everybody has four walls to shout cry whatever you want to do because that overcomes that thought because if you will keep prevailing that thought in your mind then it is going to make you weak every single day and once it will grow its root in your mind then it's very deadly it's very it's it's very uh, it actually bring yeah it, it, yeah it brings the negative side of you then definitely definitely so uh, a, a a huge shout out to you and uh, all the positivity that you uh, bringing on this uh, show with all that you have achieved i don't know i can't get enough of that though 
सो मूविंग ऑन ये तो आपने अपने कंपैशन की बात की पहली बार आप जिंदगी अप्रिशिएट करेंगे पहली बार आप चीजों को पॉजिटिव देखना शुरू करेंगे क्योंकि और अब इससे नेगेटिव कुछ नहीं हो सकता तो अब बस पॉजिटिव ही होगा तो उठाना है तो उठा लो इतना क्यों सोच मैं पहले उठा रहा था अभी नहीं उठा रहा आई मीन वाई डू आई इवन है नेक्स्ट पार्ट वेर यू नो सो स्ट्रगल विद द सेल्फ वॉज अ सक्सेस uh let's talk about uh, the interaction where the others come in and i would want to start with the family first so when people uh, saw uh, your your family your family saw you in that state uh, what was the um, state they were how was that on you or it did have on you yeah i i was not able to hear you properly like you talked about the family and uh, what was the second question uh amish mai aapse ye puchna chahti hu ki there's a struggle that you had within yourself and uh, yeah. you know and in that you overcame beautifully but then we are talking about the compassion that comes from outside of you uh, towards you so um i just wanted to know uh, how was the family taking it and how was their a uh, reaction to to everything that has happened affecting you and how did you turn that into a victory game for you yeah see i i tell you that um, when this thing happened with me i was uh, at at that point of my age where i was seeing my life i had a lot of ambitions i had a lot of uh things which i wanted to do and same with my family you can understand that everybody in my family sees you when i got into this injury the beauty i i really uh, want to mention this thing with everyone that see the most important thing in this life which we live is time if you have time to do things then you can achieve a lot of things maybe i would have taken more time to get into as a professional dj and learn more things i had time i just in utilized that time to learn so first of all it is very much important that when you get into any this kind of a situation family support is the most important thing because if you don't get that support then you will get more weak it is very much important your family should see uh, and i believe that everyone because i have seen uh, i've got i've met a lot of people who have met this with injury uh, when anybody gets into this kind of a injury their family sees a new born person in front of themselves like it's a new born baby now it is very much important that i was into this kind of a injury and actually society is something which we the norms are created by society in which we love which we live and which have to be believed which we have to it's a kind of taboo that if you are disabled you will bichara sympathetic yes these things make you weak these things actually make you weak but if you have family support if your family believes in you don't listen to anyone else people will say whatever they have to say it's their choice they can't control my life i had a hundred of people who told me when i started my journey as a dj that you will never be able to do it but i still do it i still do whatever i want to do and do it in a professional way in a in a way i want to do it yes my family supported me a lot in all these scenarios especially my mother that she came forward and provided me whatever i wanted to have in that situation to learn music to learn because see i am i am home bound i i was home bounded at that very time i was just lying on the bed i was not able to get the exposure what i needed because yeah. see when you if you want to become something then you need exposure to learn to learn all because a person learn from making mistakes and if you are not making if if i'm just learning suppose if i'm just sitting at home and learning music and i'm not able to imply whatever i'm learning in in a, in a professional way or in in a life scenario then i will never be able to know that what mistakes i'm making if i'm not able to know that what mistakes i'm making then i will not be able to know that what i have to learn once again so it is very much important yes uh, so yes society uh, because it's it's something uh, it it's also a very uh, negative part which uh, we see in this kind of a injury because 
uh, whenever you see a person on a wheelchair, you always see him with a sympathetic view and with with a bechara or with a thought that uh, oh, iske saath kya ho gaya? Kya ho gaya? Kis liye ho gaya? If you are going into a ball, then people just you you can you you must have seen it with yourself. A lot of people when a person on a wheelchair is going through a mall, a lot of people go like this. It's your choice. I I now believe I feel happy that when people see me like this, that I'm getting so much attention. Attention now, like why 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 are you giving me so much attention? I'm feeling happy that okay, yes, look at me, like I'm yeah, okay, I'm going. Maybe you you are feeling something. Uh, if you are giving me any empathy, I'm taking it. If you are giving me any sympathy, take. Keep it with yourself. Not going to take it. Take it. Yeah, keep it with yourself. I don't. I don't need that. I. I don't have any interest in my life. I'm doing. Yes, it's. It's. It's a kind of a situation which I have to live at. At a certain point of time, I'm living it with. I'm. I'm living with it, and I'm overcome. Over, overcoming. Uh, with all, all those thoughts, so it's. It's very important that. Uh, and yes, accessibility and all these issues play a very negative role in this kind of injury because. uh when you start going out of your home once you get into this injury you uh first you are fighting with yourself with your injury then you are fighting with a lot of medical conditions like going to the toilet and all these things then you go out then you see a totally different scenario where you see a lot of things are not accessible you will not be able to go out you will not be able to suppose you have to go out with, with your friends and you see 10 stairs 15 stairs don't feel ashamed i might call four people and tell them to drag me up it's okay it's absolutely fine just yeah. just 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 take me and i feel uh, uh, even uh, fortunate also that i've met a lot of people in my life who actually push me that bhaiya kya aap niche kyun baithe ho char aad like they they come and they just like pull me uh, from my legs and like from my shoulder and take me upstairs so there's no hindrance i know that yes accessibility is a very negative part to this injury and uh, uh people are trying to change it but it will not change like this but what i believe it is it has to be yeah it will not change like if i will keep it so that was the only reason i stopped talking about accessibility after a certain point of time when uh, after because it is it is something that which is not which is which is uh, i will say that it's it's on mars right now and you have to take a space <laughs> space shuttle and go to mars and then make people believe that you have to make the city accessible rather than doing all the other things which they are doing but yes uh, these are some of the difficult situations which you face but it is not difficult it is it is still a simple thought in your mind that you have you want to do it or whether you don't want to do it if you want to do it then it it's absolutely fine aap jo dekh raha hai aapko usko dekhna to koi problem nahi hai aapko upar jana hai aap char aadmi it's okay chote bachche ko bhi to godi mein uthake leke jate hai na to godi mein uthake leke upar mere ko jana hai upar to mere ko jana hai wahan play karne ke liye so my first thing which i did uh, i because that was the most uh, uh, positive uh, thought kind of a situation which actually uh, i so actually at the very first gig which i did was in office office which was a small cafe in cp it's not anymore it like got shut like almost for almost two years or three years back so it was a small cafe and uh, i used to go out over there with the, with a couple of friends of mine like every weekend just to chill and just to have a good weekend with them and uh, suddenly so i was i was pursuing my uh, um DJing at that very time, and I was just learning things. And uh, suddenly, what happened was that that I was sitting over there. Then, because when once you when so the, I I will say that people should all, all the people uh, on the wheelchair should make this point that you get maximum amount of attention when you are on a wheelchair, and it's you have a lot of things in your hand which you can do. Or you you have you you have the maximum amount of attention what what you can get. So if you are going to a restaurant, then if suppose an actor also comes, they will not see the actor. You will they will see you first. Oh, my wheelchair man, like in a sympathetic way, you take it in an empathizing way. Yes, they can like take advantage of that. So when I used to go over there, then uh, a couple of bartenders they started looking at me and they they started seeing me as a person coming uh, every weekend with 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 a couple of friends. and one day i just asked one of them that because it 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 was a kind of a cafe so they they also had dj nights so i asked him that uh, uh if somebody wants to play over here then what's the scenario 
he just pointed me to a person who was the owner of the club that he is sitting over there and you can talk to him and i was like that i am on a wheelchair no matter what i will get the attention that i have to play over here <laughs> no matter what anyway, yeah. so i just rolled my wheelchair and got to the person and uh, i will not because uh, i will not name the person because just because of, because of a lot of reasons because i asked him that uh, sir like this is my profile this is all the things which i'm learning right now can i play in your club for a in, in your cafe i don't need any payment or something like that just for the exposure so he told me that on the coming next wednesday you come and play so i was like okay uh by any chance so the club was like the, the cafe was like that all the downstairs part of the uh, premise was 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 a sitting area and they had a small elevated area up for the dj console and everything and to go up over there there was a spiral kind of a uh, stairs and uh, They usually have a very narrow passage for yeah, the. Yeah, it's a typical CP cafe. It's a typical CP cafe, and uh, so the very good part of the owner was that that he told me that when on Wednesday you are going to come, I am going to bring all the equipments down, and you are going to play the sitting like on the on the ground floor, on the ground floor, not on the upper upper part of it. By chance, that thought slipped from his mind because it was the very first time that that it was. So on Wednesday, I went over there. I gave him a call, and uh, he was a little bit of um, into a thinking situation that uh, I I was not able to arrange what I promised for. And he told me that you come next Wednesday. So I had two choices in my life at that very time: that I would have gone back, or either I would have gone through those spiral ladder and. The very first thought I'm not going to deny came let into guess, my mind. Let me guess. You chose to play that night, didn't you? Yeah, I played that night. But the very first thought which came into which came into my mind was that go, let's go. It's it's a the moment I started walking away from that premise. Again, another thought came into my mind. That why you are walking? If if you are going to walk from this situation today, then you are going to walk from this situation every single time you are going to do. Uh, you are going to go out and play. And if you get into this kind of situation, I went back and I I called him once again. He was in his office. He came back. He was like that. What happened? That I told you that you can come next Wednesday and play. I was like that. That do you have four bouncers? He was like that. Yes. I was like that. Call them. So like that. What happened? So actually, I'm not going to blame them. I'm not going to say. But people also get a little bit of scared when they see a person sitting on a wheelchair or into this kind of a situation because they think that can he? Isko aur zada kuch chhot na lag jaye ya fir ham isko uthayenge to koi कुछ बट ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है इट्स इट्स ऑल बिकॉज वट एवर हैज एपन वो हो चुका है उसके आगे और कुछ नहीं है इट्स इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू क्रॉस दैट लाइन एनी वेयर सो आई आज डिम दैट यू कॉल फॉर फोर फोर लाइक आई कॉल ही कॉल हिज फोर बाउंसर्स आई टोल्ड देम दैट एंड इट वाज अ वेरी टिपिकल सिचुएशन बिकॉज इधर आई कैन गो फर्स्ट बिकॉज द स्टेज वेल लाइक स्पाइरल और इधर माय व्हीलचेयर कैन गो फर्स्ट सो दे देन द फोर बाउंसर्स एंड The stairs were not able to uh, like take the space of all the people because I also had to go up and the four people. Then two of them uh, actually um, lifted me up. Then they took me to the first floor. They light. I actually got my zameen ko unhone meko lita diya. Then they brought my wheelchair up and then they made me sit on the wheelchair. Then I played and I did the same thing to go down. So it's your situation. It's your thought process. It's your way of taking things in front of you. If you really want to do it, then you will go up and you will do it. You will play. You will do whatever. And see, after playing, the happiness which I got, and you, that that was a kind of pursuit of happiness. That you can feel that happiness in you. That okay, after all all these situations, I was able to do what I wanted to do. So these things actually make you get away from all the depression depression states, all the negative thoughts which come in in your mind. now i every time i go go out i never get a second thought after seeing the stairs that whether i will be able to go up or whether i will not be able to go up whether i will be able to go up and play or something like that so if i get a booking or something like that i will say yes i will come i never tell them that uh, you have to do this you have to uh try because i know that it's a very simple thing it hardly takes two minute to take and uh, to go uh, upstairs to any premise and do whatever you want to do 
so hindrances are there yes they are and they make you weak also in some or the other way but it's your choice that whether you want to uh, take it as a hindrance or whether you want to take it as a another learning part in your life that agar maine ye abhi kar liya to fir uske baad to mere ko ab next jo ab uske baad after doing that because that was the most difficult situation a spiral stairs and two people lifting me up after that i never got scared going to any any of the promises no no matter what just like uh, went to the play played over there came back to my home so wow. it's it's yeah so it it's very much important that you see the positive side of the situation and always see always try to whenever you get into a difficult situation always try to find the positive out of it no matter what you will see some of the other positive situation in it and there's always a positive part of a negative situation if you find a positive part you will overcome that no matter what bahut khoobsurat i'll just maybe uh, uh, kind of bring all of that together in like two lines so you heard what he said right a lot of us a lot of us in fact everybody human beings are just designed that way everybody would like some kind attention uh, the point is uh, a lot of us the women a uh, lot of the categories that you know the so called society has made it into smaller pockets it is it's women it's the point is Um, getting, don't even bother thinking about why they are looking at you. The point is, they are looking at you. So many would die yeah. in the condition that they are being looked at. So that's beautiful. I'm going home with that message, uh, Amish. Today, thank you so much for that message. Yeah, see, uh, because I, I actually, uh, yeah, because see, you can't change somebody else's perspective of taking things. I can't. Yes. Yeah, I can't. Ch- I can't change the perspective of the other person to see me how he wants to see me, but I can change my perspective in a positive way to yes. see that what other person is seeing in me. If he seeing me is seeing me as a simply in a sympathetic way, I take it as a compliment. I, I take it as an advantage. Okay, yes, I am. Why you are giving me so much of int- uh, attention? If I am on a wheelchair, also I am doing. I am living my life the way I want to. Then if you are giving me so much attention, I am going to be upset about the future. If you are giving me so much attention, then I am being looked at. So yes, you then, then, and so if you are giving me so much attention, yeah. Yeah. The second thing is uh, you have to get up the spiral stairs. You will not turn your back to that first offer that came your way. You would not mind taking assistance. Take assistance with us. Get up there and get the job done. That is what is going to be so much happening. Okay, that's what I am going to say. Okay, next question. Okay, what are you going to say? Ah, Namita, I am not able. Your your voice is breaking a little bit. Ah, uh, am I audible now? Yeah, 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 audible. Okay, so Amish, uh, did you go to a musical institute? Yes, I I professionally uh, went to one of the institutes because I learned DJing from uh, uh, from I Love Music Academy, which is in Gurgaon. So those were the only ones who actually accepted me as a person. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, they were the only ones, and uh, I'm not going to lie about it because I tried hundreds of the uh, DJ or maybe I learned DJing from them. But DJ has nothing to do with your legs, Varun. Yeah, I. Uh, so they actually a lot of people. Uh, I used to call. So uh, what exactly uh, my time span was like? That two years totally depressive, sitting at home just learning music. after 2 years when i went out started doing my physiotherapy and changed my physiotherapy sessions and all that and i met a lot of people who encouraged me to go out and pursue your passion i started going out and i used to make list and i used to make a like every single day i used to make a page and write down that these are the things which i have to do no matter what i have to go through all of them no matter what and i used to cut them maybe i used to do 4 out of 10 or maybe 3 out of 10 but at a certain point of time i started doing 10 out of 10 so i used to write all the names of the institutes which were in delhi and started calling them uh, the very first thought when you calling a person 
they will talk to you they will tell you plans tell, tell you all the fees and everything the moment you say that you are on a wheelchair oh aap kaise hoge kya karoge kya and uh, so almost going through most of them i uh, went to ilm ilm music academy and they accepted it and the beauty about that institute was that that the room in which uh, the dj console was put in was was not accessible because the breadth of the door was small and my wheelchair was not used to go into that room so they actually put all the consoles and everything outside in their office in the main office and they used to make it uh, make me learn things whatever i wanted to do and see uh, again it's it's all about how you take decision towards your life so when i started going over there there were only two steps of stairs two people from inside used to come and they used to drag my wheelchair and make me up well the only first day i i went over there like that the second day i called my carpenter and made a ramp and went over there put a ramp over there i will get up to come every single day to make to to learn but i just don't want to uh, cause any to have any trouble yeah. and the beauty about the institute was that they they were they were trying to make every single thing possible that he should learn whatever he wants to learn Lovely. so it, it's it's also it, so again it's it's all about that how you take things how you take uh, your perspective and see it's again uh, now in this scenario the perspective of the other person towards me is not sympathetic it's empathetic it's he is looking at me in a certain uh, at 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 a in, in such a way that and he is a normal person to me he wants to learn something i'm going to make him learn something and again when i actually got out from that institute they never supported me or maybe encouraged me to go out as a, in a in a unprofessional manner i looked after every single praise around me keep meeting them asking them for work they never supported me or maybe pushed me just because that i'm the first one to doing it and so that's the beauty about it and you learn things bro because it's it's always it's not it's it's not going to be like this that if you learn something then you have learned it you have to professionally go through all those things you have to make mistakes in your life then you will start learning about things and you start learning from those situation from those mistakes and then you don't make those mistakes but then you make make again some other other mistakes and learn from them so yeah. it is very much yeah so it is very much again the same thing which i am uh, putting out that it is very much important that always see the brighter side of your any situation and everyone we are back again i'm really sorry for that abrupt uh, uh, end of the session uh, i was just as panicked as you all must have felt uh, just to come back here and uh, quickly say a bye to you all uh, that was uh, dj amish dj amish gave us a couple of uh, you know handouts for us to live with uh, that is going to be amazing uh, re- you know Uh, solution to all problems. Amish does not. Uh, I think Amish is trying to come back online. Let's get him back before we say a goodbye. Yeah, coming back to you. We will quickly uh, conclude the session with Amish. I know we can't get enough of him. He's just such a rock star. Uh, so uh, what we were talking about here is that how. Uh, has won this entire battle single handedly with the Im- with the immense amount of positivity that he lives his life with he's had a courage to come back i'm really sorry for the sudden end yeah yeah we could not have said bye to you just by that we had to say it properly so in the, the session welcome back everybody i'm so sorry for the abrupt in this session we lost track of time So Amish, thank you so much for uh, being thank with you so us. Much. And uh, you've given us a uh, such beautiful experiences and such. Beautiful uh, thank you, thank you so much. I mean, I could not thank get enough. Thank you. I should today. say thank you to you guys, like for actually uh, bringing me to the platform. I, I, I thank you so much. Thank, thank, thanks a lot. We live for. Uh, you know passing on the message to a larger audiences that there are victors there are no warriors but victors here we don't 
we don't fight with the world we we yeah. fight with life and life struggles we've had with a smiling face so thank you so much uh for that and to the audiences thank you so much everybody for joining in and lastly like i always say keep smiling wide and bright if you can't get in touch with us we'll make sure that you smile thank, thank you so much everyone thank you thanks a lot